Good morning, everybody. Happy Easter to everybody out there. The Hatching Tide or the Easter event started yesterday. Yeah, yesterday in Eorzea. Um, so, as like I always do, I always record a video for all the the seasonal events. This year, we're getting a really cool mount, which I've seen people with already, and I'm super excited to get it. And you actually get it from the quest. You can't just like run over and just buy it from an NPC and just be like, oh, who gives a crap about the quest? Uh, but we're going to start this up. Uh, this is my first time actually recording Final Fantasy XIV on my brand new computer. Um, so I'm super excited because I like I just I can start up my recording software now and it just it just works. There's no lag. The videos don't look like garbage. And I'm like I'm I'm so happy with it. I'm so happy with it. Uh, but we're gonna start it. When eggs fly. Do the Apple would have you participate in the Hatching Tide celebrations. Greetings, friend. Dawn of the beautiful... Uh, dawn, drawn to the beautiful adornments. Adornments? Of Hatching Tide, I take it? Oh, it's you. Come in. I'd like to see you again. Oh, you want this open, Mia? Since we found our shining golden treasure, I've been visiting the little fellows as often as I am able. He is fast growing into a fine young bird. And I smile to imagine what this year's event might have in store for us. Uh, you see, I've been blessed with a new vision, an egg hovering in the air from which a chocobo emerges to startle folk before going to, l before going to lay on magnificent dazzling gemstone? Surreal, I know. Yet yeah, surreal as it is, or as surreal as it was, if we can recreate this vision, something magical is bound to happen. For this, we need a hovering egg, which proved rather rarer than one might think. Oh, really? But sure enough, my good friend helper Nanota managed to find precisely such an egg as appeared in my dream. Without a doubt, a gift from the Archons of old. Of old. With the egg, we shall have a rousing hatching tide to be remembered. And so the dazzling gemstone will surely move itself. If you would lend a hand in making the vision reality, please seek out Nonata and Hurst Mill. She is taking care of the floating egg and will furnish you with further instructions. Off you go now. Good speed. Or egg speed. I almost forgot. I get to make ridiculous amounts of egg puns. I'm going to be making egg puns throughout this entire video. And I'm glad the game reminded me by saying egg speed. <laughs> I hope you guys like my yolks, because here it comes. <laughs> All right. I can't believe I almost forgot about my stupid egg puns. I cannot believe it. Uh, man. Okay. Here we are. I talked to Nonata. Nonata. Talk to me. Ah, uh, back to help the celebration of Hatching Tide. You have our thanks. This year, in order to recreate Jilehele's vision, we are uh, dividing participants into two groups. The startlers and the startled. As you seem to be accomplished writer, I assign you to the former. Your task is simple. Ride atop a hovering egg and give folk a jolly good startling. Let's you worry. At least you worry. It is easy as running a chocobo. Uh, I don't know about. You seem unsettled. Does something about an egg give you a pause? Where did you find it? Ha! <laughs> we didn't actually find the egg so much as built it ourselves. We couldn't bear to see Julia's disappointment. You see. Recall you the giant floating egg we used before. Well, it operates the same way. The wisdom and parts bestowed by, from the ancients add some refinements and external touches, and voila! Right a blig! This acceleration system, I call it, and it's a marvel of engineering, if I do say so much. Did I just. I beg you! You must breathe. You. I beg you. You mustn't breathe the word of this to Jilelele. Promise me you'll keep it to yourself. Cross your heart and hope to die. Sure, why not? You can trust me. Uh, 
And uh, somebody had the egg mount. Notice how wants to keep the truth from the exhilaration system a secret. Cross your heart and hope to die. Sounds exciting to me. So I take it you'll keep the exhilaration system's true nature a secret. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I put my mind at ease. Uh, settled. Let's you get on egg back. Let's get you egg back, shall we? Oh. Moat, um, Moat Yonder will assist you. Moat Yonder? Moat Yonder will assist you. Let her know when you're ready. Moat Yonder! Moat! You wish to ride this gilder system? Of course. Hop on. You should see a button. Uh, that's for launching the Chocobo. A lifelike shock inducing Chocobo doll. Why not try it? <laughs> Why don't you give it a try on Nonota? She won't mind, trust me. Oh my gosh. Uh, launch the Chocobo at no, 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 give her a fright. What the fuck? Okay. Look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Look at the way I'm riding it. What is this? It's so, how come everybody else like rides it like like they're like a horse, basically? I'm like, oh. Bsh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness. The struggle never fails to work on me. That is my brainchild. Uh, if it only works at half of as well on Jilili. We used it on her. She simply chuckled and said, Such a scene of humor the Archons must have had. Ach! But I shouldn't complain. So much to say is none of the GD blah 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 blah. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go find some. Let's go find some people to. <laughs> oh my god. I just kind of constantly do this. Um, last year, I remember there were egg fates. There were a bunch of egg fates. And you had to fight. It was basically this egg, but you had to fight it, and it would, like, sh shoot at you. Anxious girl. Ah, my heart filled the stock. I oh, the fright. I think you've been used to it, but I'd say the egg never ceased to amaze me. How in the world did they make that hover like that? But, uh, you shock eggs, fine, rendered and cloud, and scream out each time something. I'm gonna run away. A patient man. God, seven, seven hells. I swear it's worse when you know it's coming. So, uh, what happens now? The chocobo lays a gemstone. No, uh, I should have known it was too good to be true. More's the pity. Was the main reason I volunteered for this. You can't put some store dreams. Blah, blah, blah. I got it read like fucking anything that guy said. It like, I feel like it jumps really high. Like, like higher than. That's some of the eggs. Uh, that's some of the eggs. Oh my god. Where's the last blaze? Expectant youth. Expectant youth. What? Well, have mercy, tis a demon bird risen from the seven hell to rise. I read my soul. Woe is me, I am undone. Uh, well, how was it? My performance, that is. I am an aspiring actor, you see, and I joined the Hatching Tide so I could practice my craft. Next time, I believe I'll explore denial. Yes, just a hint to add to the depth of the character's vulnerabilities. Uh, but... No, honey, don't do that. Uh, but before I forget, the shock egg's for you. And back to rehearsing for me. All right. Ready the exhilaration system and launch. Shuck full of ex excitement. I love that they put egg puns as well. It's it's really good. No, nah, not right now, baby. Later, Daddy's recording a video. Uh, you get to wait. Uh, welcome back. You can start on the efforts of the live says You shuck it up there. Shuck eggs. You hold these shuck eggs. At least this one doesn't contain spriggans. I'm getting so sick of spriggans. They like it. Like, man, three eggs. Press this order. Well done, you have my friend. 
Miss Dreamer, Miss Dreamer. It's the expectant use. Hell's Bells. That was a shock and a half. You never mentioned there'd be others out there trying to startle us. Others? What are you talking about? Ah, spoke to goddamn soon. God bless America. The spring and riding the rock. What else? Fell up here without warning and gave me a fright of my life. I fair soiled myself. He shit his pants. He was so scared. I as well. It was so real and visceral. I didn't even have a... I didn't have to act. Joining in the festival was the best decision ever. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, but my exquisite f flush and the fright begins to fade. I need to another one so one soon. Perhaps if we are to follow the spriggan in to Gridania. Oh, and thank you, Miss Dreamer. I haven't had this much fun in a long while. Y you, you're welcome. Um, adventurer, rock riding and springs aren't supposed to be a part of the plan. I have a terrible feeling about this. We may have need of your aid beyond simply startling town folk. No problem. Spoke too soon. I was like, oh, no spriggans this year. No spriggans this year. What a fantastical day. Yes! This is the key. This is the key to my own exhilaration system. A thin rectangular piece of some unknown material. Placing it near your reprogrammed exhilaration system will be magically bringing the machine to life. Nonota needs your assistance to resolve an unforeseen spriggan problem. It's always the spriggans. Will you help us? I knew we could depend on you, adventurer. Thank you. Should the spriggan cause a commotion in the city, the blame would inevitably fall on our festival. Upon our festival. The worst case scenario, the authorities might... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let us make haste to Gridania. GG needs to be alerted, assuming the hells haven't already been broken loose. Let's go! Oh, here's Nonata. I've got to open it for you. I'm recording a video right now. You, re you open it. You can still open it. I can open it. Yeah, Fortnite just freaking probably was a plan. Hurry up in front of Pimber. Ah, come here, Nota has told me everything. And as I fear, the rock riding spring appeared in the city and began startling hapless citizens. One after another, it's been an utter chaos, and everyone thinks it's all part of the hatching tide. I don't have long... I don't have to take... It didn't take long for word to reach the wood whalers, who are none too pleased. They are threatening to take swift, decisive action, which is to say hunt down the intruder. It must not come to violence, come now. Nay, we must find a peaceful solution. Reach out to the spring somehow. Riggity. Riggy is his name, and he's taken a residence in the Great Loam Great Loam Growery. I cannot talk. We'll soothe him somehow before the situation. Blah blah blahs. Oh my God! Let's go. Freaking Riggy. Uh, soothe Riggy. There's no bag, Spriggity Riggity, only watchy watchy copy. You ride Biggie Egg, Biggie Riggity ride Biggie Rock. Same, same! You make people laugh. Laugh, make happy. Happy, good. Riggity, what make happy? It would seem that Riggity's mimicking you. He simply wished to be a part of the hedging tide. Our festival is open to one and to all, and we'd like we'd be richer for Riggity's presence. Don't you agree? Yeah. Riggity, join, join, make much happy. Then it's official. Just one thing, though. The city is a little too crowded for the fun we have in store. Let's take the revelry over to Hirschville. Well, go on ahead. We'll make the preparations. Please join us when you are ready. I have to go all the way back to Hirschville. Yeah. And look at it, it's such, it's such like the biggest rock yeah. ever. Yeah. Alright, back to Nonota. I'm glad you could join us for the Hells of Volunteers. I'm pleased to report that Riggity is happily playing out in the forest. At first, he was content to do the startling, but after a while he said that he wanted to be startled for a change. So 
so he took him to a secluded place. The better to know the thrill of a good shock. And who would better deal the shock than you? The task is to search for Riggedy in the Twelve's Wood, and when you find him, give him a shock that he'll never forget. You'll earn the shock egg for your troubles, of course, and you've got some Riggedy to give it to you. For those you receive earlier, you ought to have enough to split the surprise. As before, Moat Yonder. Talk to Moat Yonder. <clears throat> Alright. Now Riggedy has the... Now, Riggedy has three shock eggs. If you want them all, you'll need to startle him not once, not twice, but thrice. And when you're finished, return and report to Nonata. So I have to, I have to scare him like three times. Oh man, there he is. He's on his rock. How, like, can't be missed then. God! You find Riggedy so shock it for... Pretty, you find Riggity, very shocking for the <laughs> We're gonna give you a for you that we can hide, hide again. Oh, there he is. There's a giant purple rock that he's floating on. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna find, we're gonna find again, we're gonna give you a game for you, next egg, last egg, last, really hide, hide, good, you know, fine. What the fuck? Oh, I find you. You're easy peasy. You're an excellent hider. Riggity, you find Riggity, Riggity right good, but you find gooder. We're gonna give you a gig for you, Riggity, thank, thank you, shock egg funny. Alright, so that's done. <laughs> so, I was hoping that, uh, like, different things would, like, jump out of the choke, like, this egg. Like, Moogles, like, maybe it'd be random. That's what I was kind of hoping. But it's okay. We get an egg mount. How cool is an egg mount? Uh, welcome back. I understand. Huh? Yes, I'm a mount whore. I love them. Just love them. One of them, Riggedy had basket full, basketfuls of fun and was in a, was no small part due to your superior startling skills. Now, if you could wait just a moment, Riggedy has gone to fetch the others. Oh boy. been a wonderful new friend in Riggy, and it is thanks to you, Kamino. His enthusiasm has been infectious. A gift to the festival, and I never dreamed... <gasps> Could it be? Yes. Yes, it must be. The gemstone I beheld in my dream that the chocobo laid is none other than Riggy. Well, what? The magnificent rock Riggy rides upon, the dazzling smiles upon the faces of those whose hearts it touched, or he touched. Together they appear as... A priceless gemstone. There can be no mistake. Yet another vision has become reality, and I owe it to every one of you. But you must, most of you, but Jesus. <sighs> every time I read out loud, I always stumble over words. But you, most of all, tell me no. Oh, that reminds me. Our adventure friend garnered a godly haul of shock eggs. Look at them shock eggs. Six in total. My word, look at all these. Such a delicious, such dedication calls for a special prize. The hunter and egg. I want you to have it, Kamino. Wait, what? You can't be serious. We poured our hearts and soul into building that egg through the system to stay up at night so far. Oh. No, I, I didn't mean to say that out loud. No, no, wait. I don't mean I was... The hunter and egg is your handiwork? Why, that's incredible. You're a genius. No, 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 no. You... Like it? I thought you'd be upset that it's a... Ugh. Ugh. 
Dark comes of old mysterious ways, dear Nonata. It is their guidance, I believe, that you built the egg, an egg fit to serve their vessel. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> that makes me happy. It's a lot to be searched. We might find a hundred egg by the other hand. The time was best to so we can use the. Say no more, Nonata! I know you're truly grateful for everything, and I am certainly wouldn't dream of giving away a precious creation against your wishes. So I ask that your permission to gift the commune of the exhilaration system, as you call it. And as he who would lead us, led us to the gemstone, I think none other more are worthy to write it. You have the right of it. JJ would be honored if you were right away. And you, Kamino, your dear friend, as dear, as nay, dearer than a magnificent, dazzling gemstone. Much more to all of us, exhilaration system, blah blah blah, just give me my mount. Kind of surprise. Alright. That's where it's at. Let's check this out. There it is. <laughs> oh man, it does the Shockable thing. So that's cool. Uh, so I was worried that uh, maybe the... Uh, it is airborne, so I can actually... So it can fly. I think it can fly. Uh, after learning uh, the latest of the Dreamer's Vision, a giant floating Ovid, Ovoid, delivering eggs to all the good boys and girls of the realm, Nodota and his friends literally scrambled to find a means of bringing her dream to life. All it required was a little aid from the Sons of St. Coinach, Coinach and the remnants of some ancient LA technology. Oh my god, I think it can actually fly, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, whoops. Oh, well, shit. I'm just going to put it there. Oh, I did... Brigitte's over here. You can talk to him. Everyone have a radio. Okay. So, I was reading on the forums. Like, I kind of wish they rode, like, like, this girl here. Like, it seems weird. Why, uh... Why are, like, the, the Makote males just, like, sprawled out over their eggs? I don't get it. Maybe. <laughs> uh, so I think it can fly. So we're going to go test that out real quick. Um, I know a lot of people on the forums were um, upset about uh, the mount music. Because it seems like Square Enix can never get mount music right. Well, but they were like, how come it doesn't play the the papaya theme or whatever? And like I get like to me it's like, man, we got this cool mount, don't complain about it. But I agree that it, it probably should have had that music. That music would have been a lot more fun to it. But I know that type of stuff uses up a lot of resources and stuff too, so um, not a big deal. Not too big of a deal, I guess. Uh, I I love this mount. This is it's so stupid, but it's so fun. Uh, I really hope it actually flies. It says it's airborne, so yeah, it does fly. Here's a a flying egg. Oh man. Oh, so there is a there is some uh, hatching tide themed wallpaper you can get. Um, that's from an NPC you can buy it for like five thousand gale or something. Something it's simple, which is fine. Uh, I'm not going to show you that because I'm too far away from Grajani and I just don't want to take the time of the video to teleport back. Uh, hopefully, you guys like this video. Hopefully, you guys had fun uh, with. Um, this year's Easter event. It was actually really, it was actually pretty easy, pretty fun to go through. Wordy as always, a little overly wordy because that's how Square Enix likes to do things. Uh, but there were no fates, 
and there were just really simple quests involved. Just go talk to a couple people and test out the mount, basically. Which um, I think it was a I think it was a good run. I don't think anything's ever gonna beat the the Halloween event we had last year with the haunted house. That's probably by far one of my favorite events ever. But uh, this was a good event. Uh, I liked it quite a bit. I think uh, next event's gonna be gosh probably the summer event. I think. Because this is like the spring event. Easter, whatever. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next video, please be kind to each other. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.